Hello guys and welcome to my 8th tutorial. In today's tutorial, today I'm gonna show you a little bit of how I did this. Uh, uh, you probably, hopefully, have seen my recent video when I the thumbnail said and the, the caption said that uh, there's gonna be a tutorial. And uh, here it is. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, inside After Effects, I actually already have like the base, which is I have my song, I have um, sound keys, and I have rigged it up and connected it to uh, to what I wanted to react to. And uh, this is because I don't want this tutorial to be like one hour long, and uh, <clears throat> I. I have actually shown you how to make uh, this kind of uh, ball thing, audio acting, in another video, uh, which you can click on right here if you haven't seen it. Okay, so uh, what I have here is Element 3D. You can, if you don't get what these layers are, just go over to the other video and check that. So I'm gonna put it in the description. So uh, I'm gonna rename this to background because. This is actually what it is, and I'm gonna go over here and uh, wait for it to load. I'm gonna search for ramp and add a gradient ramp to the background. Oops, add it to the wrong layer to the background. Yes, so let's get started. Um, I'm actually gonna make a radial ramp, and I'm gonna invert the colors. Gonna make this a little bit more gray like that and I'm gonna put this in the middle 540 and I'm gonna drag this up to like to it looks good like that maybe a little bit darker so uh, okay next step we actually have uh, I want to create those lights, so I'm gonna go over right click new light and uh, This is gonna be the left oops left light and I'm gonna make it spotlight. I'm gonna use this color and you see all the settings you can play around if you want to and uh, now the uh, We have the light here, but it's pointing straight forward on the uh, sphere so we want to go down to, let's see, you can press P on the uh, keyboard to bring up the position. And I'm gonna bring it down to 170. Let's see, like, I don't know, 1000. Uh, let's see where we have it now. Yeah, I'm actually gonna bring the proportional grind up, which can be useful for stuff like this if you need to keep track of everything and so so uh, I think that looks good uh, for now uh, it will look better when I use the plugin uh, yeah so uh, we need another light I used three lights in my video so this is the right right light I don't know why I made a solid sorry for that right light I'm gonna use the same color presenter and bring up the position the right light is gonna be like one yeah I've actually rolled up this uh, positions just for you can understand but you can of course drag these parameters it works as well so just click on layer and I'm gonna bring it over here that's the last one like that so a top light is next Light, top, light. Same settings. Go over to position 950 by 100. And we are going to. I don't know. This looks good. I actually think. Oops. 
yeah, that's good for now. So I'm gonna show you a little trick. Uh, these lines all over the workflow is kind of disturbing. So on Mac you can just hold Shift Command H, which hides all of these. Um, just keep in mind that if you go to sound keys and sound keys, uh, it also hides these handles, so you can't uh, like drag these handles. You need to press Shift Command H one more time to bring it all up. Yeah. So uh, what is next thing? Yeah. Uh, next thing is uh, I'm gonna connect these lights uh, to to the music. So I've already like uh, I have some keys for lights here, which I have the output, and I decided to go from 150. If we go to press T on the keyboard to bring up the intensity, 150 to 350 on uh, the beat. So you see, it gets lighter. So all we need to do now is bring up the intensity on all these lights. Press hold alt key and press the intensity stopwatch. Drag the pop tool down to sound keys. Press U to minimize. Do the same thing on the two on the sides. Like that. And uh, now it, uh, they're actually blinking, but to make it more visible and uh, it, well, it was like you could see the light. Like, you know, at a concert when it's like lights and it is uh, smoke, you can see actually the light, the light go through the smoke. And uh, there, I, uh, there is actually a plugin for that. I'm gonna leave you with a trial link, sorry guys, but uh, you know, use Google. <laughs> it isn't that hard. So, Command Y, create a new solid, I'm gonna call this Lux because that is exactly what uh, this plugin is called. It's a plugin made by Trapcode and you just uh, just drops it onto the solid and uh, go over to we had <laughs> what did we have? We had spotlights so go over to pond lights and you can turn that off. Go to spotlights and when I'm looking right now I actually want this a little bit further back. Not too much, but like that. And uh, go over here. And I'm gonna change some parameters like intensity. Uh, 20 is good enough. And now I actually want that back a little bit. Oops, my fault. Like that. Uh, <coughs> Let's see, what do we have here? We have start distance as uh, 70. And we could make it reach a little bit more. Like, that should look good. That does look good for me. Uh, this plugin is very useful. It can use point, li uh, point lights, uh, spotlights. I see it does a big difference. And if we preview now, So as you can see, the lights are like blinking, and you could obviously make this a lot better. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it like that. So uh, the next thing you saw I had was particular uh, part sorry <laughs> particles, and uh, I'm just gonna make a fast one. Uh, and I actually made uh, I'm using trap code particular for this, and in the music video I actually made the particles uh, move with the music uh, which is pretty cool but uh, I, am, uh, I am actually not gonna show that today because uh, I have other plans for us uh, uh, I'm gonna leave it for the future because I am using a method which is very uh, different and very useful that I come up with so uh, you don't wanna miss that so I'm not using it in this tutorial, but I'm gonna make particle, uh, just particles uh, floating around the space, which looks good too. So uh, I have my uh, own settings here, but I can go through a little bit. Um, let's see here. We want to change this to directional. Choose box. 
and we want let's see, two hundred, hundred, and here the emitter size, which is this invisible box. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're done in the emitter. Go into the particle, which is every single little bit of this you see here. Uh, oh, dots or something. And I'm gonna make the life random, because I always like random settings. Uh, 30, and I'm gonna make, let's see here, the size to the half of this, 2.5. And size random, which means they are a little bit randomness. Uh, and go down here, let's see, I think we're down here. And go over to physics, which is kind of, uh, I can't describe it as like, the, th the physics is like, like how they're gonna move. So, um, I actually have, uh, we're gonna go to air, which is like wind or, yeah, you probably know what air is. So. Um, wind. This is wind zeta, which is uh, the wind comes. If I go in negative values, it um, in the video it feels like it's blowing particles toward us, and uh, I want that. So minus one thousand five hundred uh, should look good. But what happened now? Where are our, all our particles? Well. While it blowing wind at us, the particles are a little bit uh, ahead of us, behind us. So uh, yeah, you you know what I mean. Uh, which is uh, yeah, you can just solve it by go down in rendering and increase the particle amount from one hundred to two hundred. Uh, you don't need that much. And also, yeah, not to, I don't want to forget that, you can go to here and put on the motion blur and click there. And as you see now, all the particles get motion blur. So it looks a little bit more realistic. Um, I'm also going to make a new camera, just to get a little bit of wiggle to this scene. Mm, I'm going to add a new null. Uh, null object, make it 3D and uh, parent it to the camera. And uh, now everything I do with the null also uh, affects the camera. So I'm actually gonna press Alt on the position and now I can write an expression. So I'm gonna write wiggle brackets 2, 1, 1. And don't ask me what uh, this means because I haven't actually checked it up. I just tried everything and come up with these numbers uh, <laughs> just type three numbers different numbers and till you get it but this gives not too much a little bit of shake not too often so I like it uh, okay and the last step which is we can actually turn on the element 3d here so we can see a little bit more uh, I'm gonna make an adjustment layer and as I always do in my videos I color correct and I recommend a um, plugin called Magic Bullet Looks. So add it to the adjustment layer, press edit, and as you see now, when this comes up, if it doesn't lag, yeah, we have uh, like a builder here where you can build our own presets. Uh, I actually. like this one you can choose between a lot of different uh, different ones I like this one for example you can just press and as you see now we get a another cool actually cooler look and we could add some brightness contrast and like 25 25 35 well that looks good for me and if you don't want you could always like I see this is the opacity of looks so you could like if you don't want too much so you could leave it at like 80 and if we're looking now
So as you see, uh, it is kind of looking exactly as in the video. So uh, uh, this was just a quick tutorial, guys. And uh, I know I haven't been uploading uh, as I used to every Wednesday because uh, there have been Christmas and New Year, and I didn't wanna. I actually hadn't. I don't have this time because I work a lot. Whenever there is a holiday, I work because I need money so I can buy a new computer so I can show you cooler things than this, like things I actually um, are working on right now. The crazy things I can show you, like examples and you know, crazy things um, like this I made. Uh, and uh, I, <laughs> I had a big plan to uh, go and like just exploding YouTube with these tutorials that nobody have seen with motion capture and with characters moving and just not sound effect or you know and in other programs than uh, like Cinema 40 and Houdini and just yeah uh, but uh, when I realized it took like two hours to render out one frame and I don't have uh, 25,000 for a new computer uh, I kind of lost it so uh, but however, I can guarantee there will be more tutorials on this channel and I actually have uh, some uh, more in After Effects where I will use uh, different, not just uh, Audio React. Uh, next tutorial is gonna be awesome, so stay tuned for that. And if you like this tutorial, please give it a like and uh, comment and don't forget to subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.